Greetings, ant venturers. Today we are exploring the future of space flight through a gateway at the Kennedy Space Center. Enjoy this walkthrough of Gateway, and I'll be back in a few minutes to tell you about the space-flown hardware that you can see inside the Gateway building, and a little bit about the simulator rides you can experience at Spaceport KSC. The Blue Origin capsule, the New Glen, the uh, New Shepherd. I was gonna say New Glen, but it's New Shepherd. The New Shepherd one, and then of course there's Boeing's Starliner mock-up. Walk over here. I don't believe this one has flown, from what I understand. Yeah, it's just a mock-up. inside here. That's what it looks like. And then of course we have the one that has actually flown. We've got our Falcon 
nine above us, and then the dragon capsule. Battle tested has landed in the Atlantic or Pacific. I don't remember which one. Let's see if we can have any more. Now to depart from Spaceport KSC, you have to head up this ramp past the space flown hardware and get a really good view of the Falcon 9 from this vantage point. But let me tell you how the Space Center describes Spaceport KSC. So it says, enter into the spaceport of the future and embark on one of four incredible space journeys in Spaceport KSC. Fly to destinations never before explored, such as Mars, a horsehead nebula, Saturn, Jupiter, and more during this motion theater ride. On your way to the gate, experience the sights and sounds of a galactic spaceport and peer through digital windows for views of a busy spaceport with ground transportation movement, launches, and landings. Then proceed towards the destination gates where you will choose between four journeys entitled Cosmic Wonders, Daring Explorers, Red Planet, and Uncharted Worlds. The day we were there, it was not very busy, so we were able to enjoy all three of the rides that were open that day. So they have four simulator bays, simulator rooms, whatever you want to call them, uh, spaceships, I suppose would be a fun way to say it as well. So there are four of those, but there were only three adventures going on. I think the one we did not get to try was Daring Explorers, if I remember correctly. Cosmic Wonders and Uncharted Worlds were very educational in telling you about the galaxies beyond, whereas Red Planet was taking you on an adventure to Mars and felt a little bit more like a fun simulator ride, though still educational at the same time. The graphics, motion, the feeling of kind of a, a danger, oh, we gotta get through the situation, was a lot of fun. So highly recommend if you're going to choose an adventure, you choose Red Planet to enjoy that. There was no filming allowed on the ride, so we can't show you anything about it, but it was a lot of fun and you should try one of the experiences when you visit the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. If you have any questions about the Kennedy Space Center, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you're just excited to see more Kennedy Space Center videos, we have more of those coming here in the future. If you enjoyed this video, we ask that you do two things for us. One is share this video with a space loving friend and two would be subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video and other videos we've made so we can continue to grow and make more videos about cool destinations here in Florida. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you again next time on the next adventure.